All right, our, uh, our next step here in, in the rough-in stage, and really the last step, will be to install uh, the, the low voltage cables. We've installed this grommet already. I'm gonna cut a little X in the top of it. Our cables are staged up here. We've got eight Cat6 and four coax cables. We'll go ahead and fish those in through the grommet. Don't kink the cables as you bring them in. We have an opportunity here to straighten things out. Now we'll have to put a clamp on here. So inside the box, you wanna make sure you've got enough slack to reach the floor. So now what I'll do is I'll coil these cables up inside. They've already been labeled. See the label marks here. And uh, we'll put a little tape on it in order to uh, keep it in place because uh, we're about to be finished with this rough in stage. And after we are finished here, we leave the site and the installation of, of insulation and drywall happens. So our job right now is to protect our work by getting the cables wrapped up inside. And going back to when we first opened this box, we saved our mud guard, bring our mud guard in and put it over the, over the box. Now this is again, going to be used only for the rough-in stage. Uh, I'm sorry, after you complete the rough-in stage, it's going to be used only to uh, protect the cables during the trim. Okay, so now that we've got it in there, nice and tight, we can now walk away from the job site and allow the, uh, the rest of the construction to continue. Once we completed our rough-in stage, we've left the site, we came back, the drywall is installed, uh, it would normally be painted, um, Obviously it's not painted now, but for all intents and purposes, we're ready for the next step. Uh, so the mud guard has done its job. There's some mud smeared on the outside and dust and dirt. Uh, so this thing has kept our cabling, hopefully clean and tidy inside. We'll pop it out. So there's some drywall dust in the bottom. We'll need to vacuum that out and uh, clean, up our, clean up our cables and then we'll be ready to proceed to trim this place out, trim this box out. So I'll go get a vacuum. Okay, vacuum it out. So we'll notice that this box is recessed in here. It's not flush. And uh, up here it's a little bit more flush, but it's really not as flush as we want. This is, this is about right. So we can adjust the depth of the box now. So I'll loosen the screws. and then pull the box out till it's flush with the edge of the drywall and tighten them up. And what I'm going to do is uh, put in some additional screws that will lock it in place. This is an important feature of the design of the structured media center, allowing you to get this box looking nice and flush. So this, uh, now that we've got it flush, in order to keep it from rocking and moving around in the future, we've provided these, uh, where are they? these little tabs right here. Um, these are, are uh, open all the way around here so they can flex out. There's a small gap in this box um, between the stud and the, and the box. It's maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Uh, rather, if we just put a screw through here, you know, through one of these slots, it would warp the box. So we provided these, which will give, and they'll hold the, the depth to lock it in place. So I'll go ahead and put in some screws now. And by letting it sink in like this, it doesn't warp the side of our box. There we go. So that will lock the box in place and keep it from moving in the future so the enclosure is nice and secure now. I can proceed to uh, start terminating the cables now. Let's undo our cable bundle. So we have plenty of slack to reach anywhere in the enclosure. I'm gonna focus first on the uh, category cables. We'll get these coaxial cables out of the way. These cables were marked as they were installed. I'm gonna shorten them up because this is just too much slack. I'm gonna shorten them up so they can reach the bottom of the enclosure. So what I'll do, I'll 
grab some tape, keep the bundle reasonable and to show me where to mark the cables and we'll make sure we have enough to reach down below and then turn around. So there are many ways to mark this. You can use pre-labeled, uh, you can use mechanical labels. Uh, I tend to just use a, a Sharpie here. Now I've relabeled them. I'm going to remove all the excess cable and just trim this up. I want to get enough cable that I can reach anywhere in the enclosure. Cut them nice and even and straight. For this project, uh, we're going to be using the uh, Category 6 twist and mount. So we'll go ahead and install that next. When you're doing this, uh, this kind of installation, you want to plan ahead. Typically a good place to put this because of the cable bulk here, to put the terminating equipment for this is to get it as high up in the enclosure and as close to the entrance as possible. So we're gonna put the twist and mount right here. 